हेलो एवरी वन होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस दी थर्ड प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लीड कोड वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट थ्री फिफ्टी फाइव इट्स अ हार्ड प्रॉब्लम एंड अगेन देर आर मल्टीपल वेज टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इनफैक्ट आई वॉज ऑल्सो सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग बाइन रिसर्च इन दी फर्स्ट गो बट येस देर इज अ लीनियर सोल्यूशन इज वेल फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड विल बी डिस्कसिंग दैट ओनली राइट दैट्स अ वेरी आई वुड से एलिगेंट सोल्यूशन एंड विल गो बिहाइंड दी इंट्यूशन फॉर दैट एंड वाई दैट सोल्यूशन वर्क ओके so first let's go to the problem statement the problem name is maximum number of groups with increasing length right what are we given we are given a zero indexed array usage limits of length n okay your task is to create groups using numbers from 0 to n minus 1 ensuring that each number i is used no more than usage of limits of i right times in total across all the groups you must also satisfy the following conditions Each group must consist of distinct numbers, meaning no duplicate elements are allowed within a single group, and each group except the first one must have a length strictly greater than the previous group. Right? Return an integer denoting the maximum number of groups you can create while satisfying these conditions. Okay? What are these conditions? Just see. So this is an array of size three. What does this mean? This means that I have an element, and let's call it element number one, element number two, element number three. okay i have three elements and the first element can be used at most one time the second element can be used at most two times and the third element can be used at most five times this is what this array means and i have to create maximum number of groups but there are some conditions the conditions are each group should have distinct numbers that means that means i can use 3 5 times but i cannot create a group where i have two elements and both are five no this is not possible in short if there are n elements i cannot create more than n groups right i cannot create more than n groups because in that case what will happen if I, if i create more than n then that means just see you have n distinct elements right you have n distinct elements and if you are creating more than n plus 1 groups then what happens that means at at least one group will be there which will have repeated elements right simple pigeon hole principle but yeah let's not go into those uh, details right we will not go into those details uh, in short if we go logically as well then this is what the problem is asking us to do right now i'll talk about the elegant solution only right because binary search solution will be a little bit cumbersome but let's see the limits first so the number of elements i can have is 10 raised to power 5 that means you'll have 10 raised to power 5 distinct elements right also what's the usage limit every element can be used at most 10 raised to power 9 times that means the value will be in this range right this is what i i mean to say now let's consider this 1 2 1 5 let's see how many groups can we make right i pick up the first element and i create the first group great now if i talk if i have to create the second group i should i should have at least two more elements and both should be distinct right so i come here right i come here and i have two more elements great that means i can form the group but what's the issue here both the elements are same here right so in short i i do not have to tell what are the elements in the groups that i'll be having but rather can i form that group or not so here what will happen just see there was an element 1 and there was two elements too so instead of creating a group like this that the first group is having the first element second group is having two two no create a group like this the first group has the element number 2 and the second group has elements 1 and 2 right satisfying the condition right you have distinct elements in the group 2 and also the first group has length 1 and the second group has length 2 right now how do we come up with this right this the first question is how do we come up with this right so just see here 1 2 5 is the are the basically usage limits i have right if i talk about this position so how many total elements i have right here till here i have just one element by number of elements i mean that i have only one element and i can use it only once so that means i can only create one group right now let's try to create another group for example till now i have created one group i'll try to create one more group that means i will create the second group right now for the second group right for the second group how many elements do i need if i have to create k groups what what is the minimum number of elements i need first group will have one element then two then three dot 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 k elements right if i have to create the kth group it will need k into k plus 1 elements total right this is the number of elements i should have now 
talking about distinct elements is totally different but this is the total number of elements i should have right by elements i mean these usages right these usages now you start with zero groups right you do not have any group initially and suppose at some particular point of time you have you have created some k groups right for example you have created one two three dot 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 you have created k groups till here you have consumed some elements let's call it index number i so that means the sum of usages from one to k sorry sum of usages till this index all right is like this so it is till here i'm able to form k groups now i want to check can i form form one more group or not to form that group how many elements do i need i have formed kth group i have to form one more group that means i have to form form the k plus one th group so this is the minimum number of elements i need right because the last group had k elements so the next group should have k plus one elements minimum minimum it should have k plus one elements so how do i do this right so till element number i i know my sum is equals to or my sum is satisfying the condition that yes you can form k groups right now you move to index number i plus one right i plus one you check what is the sum till here what is the sum till here i mean you'll keep on going you'll keep on iterating the indices till the point your total sum is sufficient to accommodate k plus one groups what's the condition to accommodate k plus one groups again for k groups the equation is k into k plus one by two n into n plus one by two simple so for k plus one groups how many elements do you need one two dot 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 k and k plus one just replace k plus one here it becomes k plus one into k plus two by two so the moment the number of elements become equals to this you are eligible to create the k plus one th group now how actually am i creating these groups right let's see that as well let's see that as well so suppose your groups are like this one two three four five till k these are your groups right <coughs> now the moment after this the moment you get k plus one extra elements doesn't matter whether, whether they are distinct or not right doesn't matter as soon as you get k plus one elements what you will do out of these k plus one elements you'll pick k elements and you'll insert all those elements in each group right suppose the next element you got had k plus one usages like you can use that element k plus one times what you'll do you'll pick up one occurrence of each element and you'll add them into the existing groups so what will be the size of the groups it will become two three four dot 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 till k plus one great now this one this remaining one element will form the first group getting it again the order doesn't matter here only the feasibility matters whether we are able to create the group or not right so i was able to create k groups the moment i got extra k plus one elements <coughs> sorry extra k plus one elements i am able to create the k plus one group because the size of that group is k plus one out of these k plus one elements i'll insert one element each in these groups so the new sizes of these groups already existing groups becomes two to k plus one and the last remaining remaining element forms the first group of size one right now why this is why this is happening because we are traversing from left to right right now what happens suppose till here you formed k groups and you have three more elements when you add these three elements then you are able to form the k plus one th group so these will act as a combination some so one element out of these will go in the first group one will go in second and so on so what this will ensure this will ensure that every group group has distinct elements right has distinct elements let's take a concrete example suppose the first element i have is one okay can i form the first group yes because you need just one element great suppose the second element is also one that means the second element can be used at most one time so what you'll do you'll come here and you'll see what is the total number of elements that is required to form two groups right so that is three right two into three by two but we do not have that those numbers of elements so i move forward till here i am not able to create the second group i go to the third element suppose that is also one that means the third element can also be used only one time now can i form two groups remember my target is to form the k plus one th group so can i form the second group using the first three elements yes why because you have three elements how will you arrange these elements doesn't matter these are three distinct elements right keep the first element in one group keep the second and third element in the second group and so on right now suppose the this is the first element second element third element now the fourth element is suppose uh, let's assume it is two so 
Till now, these are the groups that you have created. Let me write it like this. These are the groups. These are the groups that I have created. Now, the fourth element can be used twice. But to create four groups, how many? Uh, sorry, I want to create the third group, right? This is the first group. This is the second group. But this is the fourth type of element, right? One, 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 two. These are the usage limits, right? This can be used one time, one time, one time, and this two times, right? So now I get two more elements, or rather two more occurrences of one element. That doesn't matter, by the way. So can I basically, do I have the sufficient number of elements to form the K plus one group? So I formed two groups. I want to form the third group. How many elements do I need? I need three elements, but I've got only one element, uh, sorry, two elements, right? I'll not be able to form the groups, right? I'll not be able to form any extra group, right? Now, suppose the next element is also two. That means the fifth element can be used twice. So till here, you were able to form two groups. After these, there were two elements whose total frequency were, was four, right? Total usage was four. Can you combine these two, club these two to form that extra group, the third group? Let's see that, right? So let's assume this is fourth element. This is the fifth element. So what I can do, just see here, I do not, I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, like bound to use all the elements, right? So what I can do, place four here. So this guy becomes one, four, place four here as well. This guy becomes two, three, four. Great. You have consumed both the occurrences of four. You have two occurrences of five remaining. So now single five creates a single first group. So just see three groups, five, sorry, five, just a second. Yeah, five, one, four and two, three, four, right? So this is how you approach this problem. Just see what happened. Till this point, you were able to create K groups. After this, you were waiting for sufficient number of elements, you know, so that I can form the K plus one at group. And how do you form it? Suppose you have K plus one elements, you can have more than these elements as well. But out of these, you pick K elements, insert them into the already created K groups because I want the elements to be distinct. Now the remaining odd one out one will form the group with element one. Simple. This is what the approach is, right? I'll not discuss the binary search wala thing uh, because this solution is very simple. Once you get the intuition, this is simple, right? Now the question comes, how to get the intuition? Uh, yes, it is sometimes uh, difficult. I'll be very honest because just see here. If, if I talk about the accuracy, it's roughly, it's less than 2%, right? It's less than 2%. So yes, sometimes you get tough problems and where the problem will become, become tough, it may look like a tough problem. But uh, uh, if, you, if you go to the internals, do some observation, you find that, okay, the solutions are sometimes really elegant and easy, right? So this is one such type of problem. And I think this has compensated all the easy contests that we have been getting, right? From, from the past few weeks, right? So let's go to the code now. Initially, I have zero groups, right? Remember, I first sort it. I sort it because I want to take the elements, consume the elements based on the usages, right? Because that will help me in doing this logic. Okay, you have formed K groups. Now you have to form the K plus one at group. So you find what are the min, what are the, you know, minimum usages you, you should add to get K plus one at group, right? So you sort it. Answer is equal to zero. That means I do not have any group, right? now. This sum is basically how many total elements you have seen. I mean, uh, usage one, usage two and so on, right? So this is the first element you add it. Now check which group am I uh, targeting to form? I'm targeting to form the first group. Do I have the required number of elements? Required number of elements if I want to create the answer plus one group. Answer is equal to zero. That means can I create the first group? So sum is greater than equals to answer plus one into answer plus two divided by two. Now why plus one plus two? Because I'm standing here. I want to compute for K plus one. So for K, the formula is K into K plus one by two. So for K plus one, it will be K plus one into K plus two by two. Getting it? Just replace K with K plus one in both the, you know, brackets and you get this formula. So if I have the sufficient number of elements, great. You can form this group. Yes, answer plus plus. Answer plus plus means you have formed this group. Now my target will be to form the second group. So I'll again wait for the sufficient number of elements, right? If sum is less than the required number of elements, I do not increment my answer because no, I cannot form the answer plus one at group. So I keep on waiting. I keep on accumulating the elements till I this condition satisfies. And in that case, I'll form another group and so on, right? So yeah, this is how you solve this problem. Um, I, I am pretty sure you must have some queries related to this problem because this is a very good problem. Um, and also do let me know if you face any issues related to the solution as well. I'll be more than happy to help you. Uh, and yes, if you find this video useful, uh, please do support it by giving up a thumbs up. 
do subscribe to the channel as well uh, and in case you solve this problem uh, using any other method do share that in the comment section so that we all learn learn from each other right so yeah have fun take care i'll i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye